В предишния епизод на Ками Фуда, поредният ми учител по магия се оказа Люн. Той беше готов да премери сили с мен отново с помощта на подсиленото му тъвмотуркично тесте. Опитът му, разбира се, беше неуспешен. Продължавах да съм непобеден а, в тази конкретна времева линия. По-късно през деня се заговорих с три. Тя изпитваше осезаеми затруднения да не се държи като робот, но след като й обещах да се върнем с спомените си отново заедно, се позатопли. Това ще е моят шанс да открадна нейните тайни на Ками Фуда. Нека изберем къде да идем първо. Нека да идем за карти. Ммм, ти да видиш. Inhibit 7, тази карта е прекрасна по принцип. Според зависи от стратегията, разбира се. <coughs> Уу, чудесно. Камената школа на Тренца ми поизоставил сякаш. Нека да имам магазинера, какво ще им предложи. Макар, че май няма да имам парички за него. Да, имам нула, точно нула. Но да има някакви много яки работи. The Seven Plague. Legendary Desolate. Copy this spell on all empty lanes. Йо, това е... Това е садистично просто. Legendary Finality. Ритуал. Stygian Moon. Completes gain Stygian Moon. Whenever a spell abandons you, channel one energy, ignoring maximum limit, energy limits. <coughs> това не е зле. Особено ми е къпери цилите на школата. Бекинг Ломрод. Добре. Ся. Видно е, че играем Ками Фуда. Moving through the dormitories, I spot a curious sight. A small black piece of paper coasting in the holes uh, hovers around my head. It is shaped like a paper crane and flaps its wings as lively as an animal itself. I instinctively open my palm to let the paper bird settle. The enchanted paper unfolds in a rush. Written in ink glowing like hot coal, a summon, a, a, a summon states uh, Meet me at the remains of Enfield's seal. After it is read, the paper falls again, it leaps from my hand and burns in fierce cinder. Well then, so much for my afternoon. The route to the broken seal sets me on edge. Something about this place puts my stomach in tighter and tighter knots with each consecutive visit. When I finally pull myself through the other end of um, its narrow entryway, I'm greeted all too cordially. Quizzo bows politely as I enter. Welcome, child of the temporal fires. To this, a thine crossroads be twixt and between. The air is still and stagnant, permeated with a slight stench of rot. Three synchronous rings of Kami Fuda cards levitate around Quizzle's vicinity. The cards ooze with noxious fumes, brown and moss in color. There is no twinkle in Quizzle's eyes. Only a stark white light in the very center of his pupils and a slackness to his jaw. Who are you? What is thy name? Asks the meddling insect uh, of the forest in which he subsists. I watch as something seems to squirm beneath Quizzle's skin as if his very veins are crawling. What do you want with me? I wish to see fire. 
a fire that shall rise to scorch the disputed roots which dare tarnish one's sovereign soil. I don't fall. You think something of yours has been tarnished? Canst thou burn such a way? These roots which entangle one heart of rigid stone. Or wilt thou dwindle, but a smolder in the dark? Buried within an age, succumbed to thine ravenous host, and burgeon, burgeon until no else remains. These I would know before thine hour is come. Окей, okay, um, добре. Интересно ми е с това те сте дали ще успея да се справя с него. Um, да видим какво мога да си позволя да добавя тук. Често казва един ричалайзър, може би. Много тежки карти ще ми станат сякаш. Не знам той с какво те ще излезе въобще. Ритуалите съм назаде малко. И такива два, може би. Теглен на карти сякаш. Някаква форма на теглен на карти не е зле. Чува се. <към> Ритуали имам достатъчно инстантка една. Катала е 7 за Тю Резерв. Съм сигурен, че има смисъл от това. Дей ходи Валър, дали си струва да сложа два пъти? Може би да. Не ми ли стават много единички обаче? Я да пробвам този ритуал, хайде да видим. Уу, зелено. Зелен борт има той. Здраво изтеглих карти, между другото. Почвам с логичния ход. 6 инхибит. Чудесно. Не ме притеснява. Чува се дали да пробвам с този ритуал. Сега ми трябва силна карта, която да издържи отпред. Имам две слабост. Ако се... Размине този, опонента губи 3 енергия. Окей, okay, UPAS Priority Gain Inhibit 1. Wow, окей. Okay. Никой ритуал няма да мине все още. Интересно начало. Enough of this. Bring quiz bag. Let 
Бати тежки инхибит. Ой! Okay. Чудесно! <coughs> Едва ми дишам от този хибит, между другото. Паутри, thou must suffice! Паутри, не ще ти ти Когато ми вкара демидж магия, получавам едно вехемен, едно инфлуенс, което е страхотно. Мисля си, че е по-добре срещу него конкретно, но... Няма такъв пич. Окей, okay, това е идеално. Това няма много смисъл, нали? Това си мисля, че ми изгори повече. Айде инфлуенса. Чудесно. Би трябвало да го разбия сега. Този ход. Draw two spells, gain one focus. Разбирам. Това е малко рисков ход, ама трябва да направя нещо. Йоп. Трябва да започна му нанасям щети вече.
Минус 7. Ще оставя ми да не се демиджа, между другото. Ай, давай. Тотално го надскочих. И още едно инфлуенс. Тук играем някакъв брутален дуел. О, да. Долу с Худи Валър. Тези, които гълтат. Айде. Много интересно. Запази си картата на нашия човек. Мисля, че мога бия този ход. С много голямо предимство съм в момента. Идеално е, че мога да изиграя, това е важното. Чудесно. Само да не ме въртне някъде. Няма ме въртне. Той е чао. Супер сме. Тип топ форма. The Fire Steers. Wielded by a new hand. Поскоро the fire steers. Wielded by a new hand. So be it. The strange white light leaves Quizzle's eyes and he collapses a moment after. I catch him before his head hits the ground. Questions aside, Quiz needs me first. And so I carry him back to his room. Nervous under the oppressive weight that something horrible lurks just around the corner. Добре. I find myself craving a break from eldritch nonsense and quiet but foreboding ambience that dwells in these halls. Vix is usually in the center of arts just about now. And I could use a good chuckle. The holes here in the center of arts are as lively and in, um, as lively as I'd hope. Um, and I quickly find the culprit I'm looking for. Vix works diligently on a poster of some sort, which seems to be floating about the hallway in some pre-ordained pattern. Um, the poster doesn't seem to be made of paper, but um, some conflicts 
of Eldritch Light. It clearly advertises the upcoming student election. Vix prods, uh, prods it furiously uh, with a large bronze tipped needle which adds four inch strokes of light to the image at a touch. Not bad. Though if you are going for some routine defacing, I don't think the classic moustache or monocle can be can be beat. Oh hey. Do you know uh, do you have a, an extra one of those needles? I saw a few more posters down the holes down the hole if you are um hankering for an accomplice, uh, accomplice. Hmm. Help yourself. She hands me the instrument she she'd been using. I've got a class to get to, uh, so... Class? Classes aren't even in session. This class exists only in the um, mirror dimension, so, you know, it's only taught when the rest of Glomrod is on break. Yes, that sounds totally and completely real. Yep, anyway, see ya! She slinks away in a bit of a hurry, disappearing down the hall. That was certainly odd, though oddities are generally par for the cause with her. I shrug the weirdness off and decide to continue about my day. A few hours, hours later, I find myself carrying a large basket of laundry back to my room. The laundry facilities aren't quite what I expected here. Uh, I suppose a campus like this precludes washing machines. But the little soap gremlins employed to seemingly replace modern machinery are infuriatingly rough with my uniform. I find myself muttering over yet another hole to my ja jacket when I notice uh, Vix by an open window. There on the windowsill she is laid out her kamifura deck. She is deep in thought, examining the cut when I tap her shoulder. Formulating a revenge strategy? Oh. No. Her response comes out especially cold. I find myself feeling a bit anxious. She was being weird earlier too, right? Did I say something? Or am I just overthinking this? Did you need something? Um. Well, since you've already got your deck out, how about going a few rounds with me? I've got other plans. Oh, sorry. What are you up to? You know, the club doesn't exist just to train whatever strays happen upon our chambers. We all have our own stuff going on. You can't expect us to drop everything anytime you need a Kamifuda lesson. I, I wasn't expecting you to drop everything. Where is this even coming from? Nowhere. I'm just busy. Okay, well, gotta go. She leaves even quicker this time. I notice her cards still positioned on the win windows wheel are nearly reach out to stop her, and nearly, nearly reach out to stop her, but her deck sweetly shuffles itself in her direction with a gust of eldritch powered wind. I scratch my head as she turns the corner at the end of the hole. Am I crazy here? No, I've heard some ridiculous things um, come out of her mouth, but this is the first time I've seen her act so curt with anyone. Something's up. I'm not giving up. If she wants to play this way, fine. I'll beat her at her own game. Vix doesn't listen to anything but nonsense, yeah? Okay then, I'll give her some fucking nonsense. Sometime later. I slink into the courtyard, holding a clipboard with no paper and very clicky pen. Over my uniform, I am wearing an oversized hat and a monocle courtesy of either the campus theater uh, department or a soon-to-be very upset professor. 
I perched myself in plain view on the edge of the courtyard stone fountain. About 20 feet from where Vix happens to be enjoying an early dinner seclu in seclusion. Uh, can I help you? Hmm, oh, do you mean me? I bounced ecstatically on my heels. Vix rolls her eyes. Yes, you in the shadow of cosplay. Ah, I see. I furiously scribble nonsense into my notepad. Subject expresses mild annoyance when faced with observation. Agent 11 team um, shall continue noting, uh, notating subsequent behavior. She opens her mouth to say something but instead leaves her foot and begins to walk in the opposite direction. I follow her to the other end of the courtyard, ducking between whatever cover I can find. Seriously? Subject is displaying signs of increased irritation. Field agent's current mission may be in jeopardy. And pray tell, what is your mission exactly? I follow it with a salute. Ma'am, Agent 11 reporting for duty. My mission is, I, as I chose to accept it, is confidential in nature. You may break my body, you may break my spirit, but I shall never betray my organization. Oh, well, perfect then. I had no intention of humoring you any further anyway. Goodbye. Subject is attempting to escape. Agent in pursuit. I shall continue to observe per my directives. Vix points over my shoulder. What's that over there? Subjects tend to escape have become frankly pathetic in nature. Maybe the ancient the agent should take a hint. He'd certainly like to, unfortunately, Agent 11 is quite dense. Maybe if uh, the subject would explain why she's being she's been avoiding him all day. Perhaps the subject is simply tired of the agent following her around like a lab dog. Ouch. Is that how you really feel? I will you just go already. Not until you answer me honestly. Pushy pushy. Yeah, I'm a little pushy, and honestly, I'm a little peeved right now. What's going on? We were good one second, and the next it feels like you're running away from me. I just want you to talk to me. Or better, deface school property with me. Did you seriously think I wouldn't want to add mustaches to a student election poster? It's like you don't even know me at all. I don't understand you, Tarot. Her posture, her posture sinks into herself and I become acutely aware of the silence in the courtyard. She, for the first time I have known her, uh, seems very small, fragile like porcelain. And though I want to reach her uh, for her, I begin to worry that she may break. Why are you even trying to hang out with me so much? What do you mean? I like spending time with you. Hmm. You are insane. All the time I've no idea what we are talking about and I love that. Yeah, you find the zany girl in the club interesting. Cool, good for you. I didn't sign up to be exclusive entertainment. I never asked you to be Vix. All I wanted was to be your friend. I... You... You should just save yourself the trouble. Why? What trouble? I don't understand where this, this is coming from. Because... She bites her bottom lip hard. I notice small flecks of blood beneath the bits of broken skin. Because one day you really get to know me, and then... And then you want to leave. Like everyone else. 
So it's better you just save us both the time, okay? Just leave me be. Um... Vix, is that really? Stop! I hate that. That look on your face right now. I've seen it a million times before. Do you know I want... Uh, do you think I want to cling to me? Um, do you think I want you to cling to me out of pity now? That's what you think this is? No, I don't. I don't want whatever this is, okay? I don't need your pity friendship. I don't need your joke or your clown or whatever um, to keep you to keep you enter uh, entertained. I don't need to be your joke or your clown, okay? I don't need you, Tarot. I don't need anyone. So just go, please. Just go. I've never considered myself the most charismatic fellow in the world, but I can plainly say I've never found myself at a loss for words either. Sometimes people surprise you. It is easy to forget at times, for me at least, that everyone we pass on the street is living out their own journey. Fraught with those same hurdles which have so many pummeled me uh, into my own depressive submission. And some are much quieter about said struggles. Not always for the better. Question is, when someone's hurting, what exactly do you do? My gut always tells me to push, 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 push until people's wall just come crumbling all the way down. But does that always help? Or for Vix, would that just make this all worse? You know, when I was a kid, I was really shy. My brother was always the outgoing one. He used to always pull me into whatever uh, shenanigans he was doing. And while something, uh, sometimes it was fun, often I felt exhausted. Like I just wanted to be left alone, allowed to choose to spend time with him of my own accord. Luckily for me, my brother was much smarter than I am and he loved me very much. So he stopped forcing me to join him all the time and instead made it very clear that I was welcome, always. Look Vix, I could sit here and explain to you that I've got no intention of leaving um, and could start a whole rig, rigmarole um, of reassurance, but I don't think that's really going to do anything for either of us. So all I'll say is that I like you Vix, I like spending time with you and I'd like to keep doing so. I'm here. And I'm not going anywhere. I want to listen to you. Really, I do. So whenever you're ready, if you're ever ready, I'll be there to listen to whatever you're feeling and whatever you're to uh, we are thinking. You're thinking. Eh? Until then, I'll give you some space. She's silent and still, unable to look me in the eye. Every fiber of my being screams, me, uh, screams at me to stay, to keep trying and trying until something works. But I can see this is hard enough for her. And so I decide to take my leave. I head back to my dorm to lay down a while and soothe a reeling heart. Honestly, I don't know if I just did right by her. All royally fucked up. Sometimes, I guess, the only thing you can do is hope that your intentions broke through. And for a bit of favor from Lady Luck. Честно кажа, не знам как се озовах в ситуация, в която по някакъв начин да, да, да се харесваме с Викс. Откровенно казано, е последният човек от училището с когото ми се занимава чак толкова, просто някакси сайт, което е така наредиха нещата. The Seven Plague е чудесна карта, Stygian Moon също сякаш. Mm. Втория ритуалайзър 
съм си мислил в някакви ситуации, че ми трябва. При Strike Q, Take One Damage, Sulting. Друго ти успел с Gain One Focus. Аре, Sting, по-добре е това. И толкова за този епизод.